Hi everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're talking about a bit of a left field topic, but one that I actually think is super interesting, and that's posture. Now the way that we hold our bodies in space is called postural control. Now this initially develops as infants, so a very conscious uh, integration of what's happening in the environment, our senses and our brain, but of course this becomes more and more unconscious as we get older. Now of course postural control is super important in many aspects of our lives, walking, sitting, running, but many other areas as well, and there is some evidence that uh, children and adults on the autism spectrum have some difficulties uh, with postural control. Now the study we've linked to this week reviewed all of the studies that have ever been conducted in this area and come out with a really interesting conclusion. So what they found was that first, yes, some children and adults on the autism spectrum do have difficulties uh, with postural control. And secondly, they found that the difficulties with postural control appear to be caused uh, by sensory processing differences. And in particular, difficulty in integrating um, uh, information from the different senses and then adjusting the body accordingly. I think that's super interesting. Now, what I think this study really underlines is the importance of understanding the sensory profile of every child and adult on the autism spectrum and then using that information to help each child reach their potential.